quick tip on how to reduce harshness in a stereo mix when you're mastering. You can also apply this concept when mixing, so it's definitely worth checking out. We're using the Brainworks Dynamic EQ. This is really cool because it's got a mid-side mode, which on a stereo mix is brilliant because you can reach in and just deal with the vocal, which is usually pain in the mix. Okay, so I'm going to play you a little bit of the track. It's already mastered, there's really nothing to do with this, I'm just using this as a, an illustration. So the cool thing about this plugin is it has a solo mode for the band that you're sweeping around. Really all this is doing, it's a really tight bandwidth, i.e. a high Q with a boost of I'm guessing 7 or 8 dB. I'm going to put this into solo mode and sweep around, it's going to sound pretty grim on its own but it's great because you can really focus in on where those frequencies you might want to duck out are. So next I'm going to set the threshold. So that's set so that the detector is sensitive just when the vocal is going on, when it, that particular frequency goes above that level. I think 6 dB is a little bit much in this case, so I'm going to wind this back to about half a dB. And that's the reduction that we're going to have. So if I take this out of solo and I'm going to play it for you in circuit and then bypassed. Obviously the difference in this is really subtle. This is a track that's already been mastered. It doesn't really need anything to into it, it sounds fine. When we're at the mastering stage, we're usually dealing with really tiny adjustments. You might make several of them, they all add up, and the feel of the track is quite different. And that's what we're going for with this. We're not trying to do something really big. If it needed a really big change, we'd be going back to the mixer and saying, hey, is it possible to tweak this very slightly? In this case, it's just a really small thing, but it is important because it means we can lean into the track, turn it up, rather than feel like we're being shouted at and pushed away. That's really one of the things that we're trying to do is just make it more listenable. Oftentimes people aren't going to know why they hit replay on a track, they just do and that's really important. If you've enjoyed this video please hit like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, look after yourselves and each other and see you in the next one.